it's time for an orchid update. So it is the month of January, so I thought I'd do an update for you on the plants. So throughout the winter so far, the plants have slowed down in growth, which is normal. So there isn't really any new growth on any of the plants. I haven't really gotten any new plants either, since it is a little tough to get plants through the cold winter months. The plants, however, have changed their setup. So as you can tell, they are no longer on the humidity tray. At least the uh, Neophanetia and the Sideria are no longer in that setup. Um, these plants here are in an orchidarium type setup. So this is just a 10 gallon tank. I've also gotten a humidity gauge. And on the bottom, I've cut some plastic egg crate to size. It acts as a humidity tray almost. So it keeps the humidity for the plants and it keeps the plants from touching the bottom of the tank so it doesn't get too much water. The humidity tray is also lifted um, the gauge off the bottom so it doesn't get wet and it's been really helpful so far. So let me give you a closer look. So I also forgot to mention that I've taken the lights back from the aquariums and I'm using them again for the orchids. Uh, the lights are on a timer so they get six hours of light each day from 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock so the plants have an increased amount of light as well as an increased amount of humidity and as you can tell I don't know if you can see on the plants but the color just seems to pop a lot more the contrast on the variegation for example on this orihime is a lot stronger than it was before I'm not sure if it's just the time of year the light or the humidity but Regardless, the plant looks a lot better in its growth, and we'll have to see when it enters its growth cycle uh, during the spring, whether it continues to have this positive effect on the plants. I flipped around this, this um, mount for you, so you can see what's going on. I tried to experiment with the mount now that we have this orchidarium type set up. The humidity should be high enough to keep it alive and keep it growing so we'll have to see that's more of an experiment I'm working on the plant on the right the Cymbidium goringii has increased in growth the leaves are growing I think this plant I feel grows very slowly in general but the leaves from the new growth are much longer than the previous growth which is a good sign I've actually repotted this plant so this plant is now in Canuma in the center it has some leca beads on the bottom and on the top is top dressed with this black um, substrate the substrate is actually an aquarium substrate it's eco complete which is a type of volcanic soil used for oh actually no it's not eco complete it's fluval shrimp stratum sorry the yeah that one is the fluval shrimp stratum which is a volcanic soil which i think is very similar to the product they probably use in asia um, the plants in general are the same. There's not really any changes. So yeah, that's the update on this on these plants. So moving right along, we still have some of the Neophanetia, some of the others which didn't fit in the Orchidarium over there on the left on the bottom shelf. They're doing okay. They get enough light. It's winter so they don't really show any signs of growth. So it's it should be alright for them. The house plants are doing well. The rubber plant I've staked up since it was starting to grow in different directions. So I think this summer I'm going to bring this plant outside just to see if it affects the growth. I feel like it'll give it a lot more growth if it goes outside. I think it's much closer to its natural environment. So I think that'll be good for this plant. Other than that, everything is about the same. They just continue growing, which is nice to see since the orchids have slowed their growth. But yeah, let's continue on. Alright, so here we are at the second table. At this table we have the Vanda, which I've brought back. This is the Kuwadi Fragrance. I have it in a sort of semi-water culture type setup. So I fill it with water once a week and just have it sit there for a day or so. And then I'll drain it and just leave some water on the bottom for it to keep the humidity up and for it to absorb the water. It seems to be doing well. There haven't been any ill effects. It's actually growing one new root, which is a good sign. So we're just going to keep that up and see how that setup works for the plant. I have a couple new succulents. They were sort of impulses. I don't really know if I'm going to grow succulents as a hobby, but I'm probably just going to keep 
one of these two. I don't know if I want to keep them permanently, but we'll have to see. The Philanopsis on the left is putting out a new spike, which is exciting since the spring is coming. It always comes out around the same time of year, so I'm excited to see that. Um, the other two plants, the Bolina stopped blooming. It's more of because the drop in temperature and everything. So it's really probably going to dry up and just produce another spike in the summer. The Neostylus is doing about the same. I feel like the leaf may be growing a little bit, but it's always been like that. It hasn't really put out any spikes since I've got it. But we'll just continue to grow it and see what happens with this plant. Uh, the humidity tray, as you can see, has moved over here. It isn't really being used. It's sort of just to protect the uh, shelf underneath because the water does uh, damage it a little bit. So, yeah, that's the update on all of my orchids. I hope you enjoy, and thank you for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Bye!